Hello everyone and welcome back to our usual appointment Fed from Atos Capital Group here to discuss the data release for the week commencing on the 30th of November 2020. Well, with a pretty loaded uh, economic calendar this week, uh, we are likely to continue seeing uh, equity markets uh, focusing uh, on vaccine news and containment measures uh, from around the world. Uh, with global cases continuing to rise and Christmas plans jeopardy, uh, economic figures for, um, for the month of October are likely to be ignored as uh, they will be disregarded as uh, outdated, but we could see some impact from uh, global PMI's figures as they are considered to be one of the most forward-looking Let's not forget it's no farm payroll as well, and no farm payroll week. So the latest job report from United States might uh, determine which way sentiment uh, swing next. Canada will also publish its employment news along with its uh, third quarter GDP. And the Reserve Bank of Australia will, be, uh, will kick off uh, uh, the first round of central banker meeting for the months of December in Europe. We're going to see the inflation um, data, flash inflation data, uh, and so will be watched closely in anticipation of the next ECB's move. But I mean, the BC economic calendar, Brexit and OPEC meeting are the ones that can potentially produce most volatility. In Australia, after the cut of uh, cash rates and uh, expansion of QE early this month, um, Reserve Bank of Australia is expected to hold this fire, even if we're going to see weaker uh, uh, GDP data, which are expected on Wednesday uh, at minus 4.5% wrapping up the week on, on uh, Friday with retail sales expected a plus 1.6% versus previous one ma minus 1.1%. 1 .1%. Aussie traders will also uh, keep an eye on Chinese manufacturing data coming out also uh, this Monday. Canada will be another country which will release its uh, uh, third um, GD, third quarter GDP figures, though its recovery is, is expected to have been much more solid than, uh, than Australia. After a record plunge of 11.5% in second quarter, the Canada economy is expected to print a uh, healthy plus 10% in the three months to September. Uh, well, uh, poor employment numbers might let uh, Bank of Canada think twice, even though it's expected to, to be on hold for the foreseeable uh, uh, future. So again, Canadian dollar is going to be uh, driven mainly from the broader risk appetite and of course from the OPEC uh, outcome, the OPEC meeting outcome. Uh, OPEC meeting which uh, will be held on Monday and Tuesday between the, uh, the major oil producer producer which are expected to uh, are expected to to extend uh, its cuts of uh, 7.7 million barrels per day into 2021 so OPEC and non-OPEC uh, are largely expected to 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 shift to extend the output uh, in the uh, by three months and possibly by six months However, the vaccine breakthrough uh, has not only considerably um, raised the demand for oil, but we start seeing also a surge in oil price in anticipation of that. Uh, well, in US on Tuesday, ISM manufacturing PMI are out and investors will look if the numbers of November will confirm the near two-year high numbers of October, but uh, more important are the ISM non-manufacturing PMIs, which were equally strong in October, but any signs on Thursday that the services might have slowed down in November might fuel expectation that the Fed will increase its asset purchases in the next uh, uh, meeting. The biggest highlight, however, will be on Friday with the no-farm payroll uh, are projected to have risen by 
520,000 in November compared with the previous 638,000 uh, and the unemployment rate uh, to edge down just by 0.1% to 6.8%. So in Euro, larger area of Europe have been forced to be in a, a, a to, to, to enter through restrictions. So this uh, we've seen already this with the services PMI plunging to the lowest level since May. So big attention on November PMI's final figures, manufacturing on Tuesday and services on Thursday. Also the other main release for the Euro will be the flash inflation uh, rate which is expected to be unchanged a minus 0.3% year over over here uh, well uh, this week we will also see euro and uk battling again on the, on brexit talks one such risk of event uh, could be sparked by a collapse in the brexit talks so negotiate negotiations between uk and the eu for a post brexit uh, uh, pact are ongoing and although the two sides have uh, reported uh, reported uh, that the deal is, uh, has been negotiated for 95% is the remaining 5% what could make or break it. Uh, so mm, the outstanding issues are, have not changed. Fisheries, level playing fields and dispute resolution are the areas where compromise still needs to be made. Overall global markets positive momentum is still present but let's keep an eye on risk management as uncertainty and uh, stability is likely to be a long way away. This is Fed from Ethos Capital Group. Vamos, Diego!